Good morning, everybody. We are about to pull up at Main Street Cycle. I'm behind Joel. We went and worked out this morning. And uh, we're about to pick up that right there. We're going to put it together out of the crate. We got several off of the truck this morning. And uh, we're about to pull in and see those Sea Force 1000 Overlands. Matter of fact, there they are right there. Oh my goodness. There's the truck being unloaded. It's game time, baby. Oh man, all these right here are the 1000 Overlands. Booyah, baby. Then we got a bunch of 600s. What all? They're all the gray color. They're all gray? Oh, snap. Oh, there's more. Oh boy, there's the blue. So it's looking like we got our shipment of gray ones with the blue uh, bead locks and blue accent. Uh, what's that? The box is on it. Okay, box is already on it. We're gonna see what all, how they come in the uh, crate. They undid the shocks, that's why they got it trimmed. They got it slammed, the yeah. Okay, well, we're gonna get these in the shop, start putting them together, because we have a list a mile long wanting these units. Uh, if you're wanting one, you better get with us at Main Street Cycle. We got a whole, we got this many more of the digital camo coming as well with the red beadlock rims and all that, and they look awesome. So me and Joel were actually wanting that one, but we can't wait. I'll take any color at this moment. These are 600s, and we've got a pile of 600s up front already. So uh, let's get these units in. So this is mine right here. Here's Joel's already put together. Uh, he doesn't have the boxes and stuff on it and all that stuff, but I'm going to rig mine out like it comes, the Overland package. As you can see, we've got uh, the rest of our guys back here putting together more units. And uh, we right now we have 10 silver or the gray with the blue uh, in stock. What now? Granite Ridge. Oh yeah, Granite Ridge is the color. And we have like 13. Uh, of the digital camo that's coming and check this out y'all look so this is packaged in with each model uh, Joel just took that out from the package so with the purchase of your 1000 overland you get this nice box it's got a, a nice little write-up from CF moto talking about the C force 1000 just the ATVs and uh, a nice leather keychain that says Sea Force Overland 1000, really nice there. And then you open that up and you've got a pair of CF Moto goggles in that uh, CF Moto blue. You've got a CF Moto Overland hat. That is awesome. And then is this two coffee yeah. mugs? Two, one flat, one white. One black coffee mug. What? Right. Yep. Sweet, and then a white one just like it, yep. I'm assuming. Yep. Just well, that is nice, man. That's just a little gift from CF Moto that's gonna come with all of your Sea uh, Force 1000 Overlands here at Main Street Cycle. So, like I said, we've got 10 here. Obviously, two of them's already gone to me and Joel. And uh, there's actually, I think we've already pre-sold a few as well. But we've got several more on the way. That should be here any day now. We got the digital camo with the red beadlock rims. We're going to actually kind of step you through not every single step to putting one together, but uh, at least let you see kind of how they come in a crate. What they did was they slammed the suspension here. And what I mean by that is they just don't have this uh, rear suspension hooked up, nor do they have the front. And they got lowered as much as possible to be able to fit it in as small as a package as they can to try to keep the shipping charges and freight down, but it's still, as you know, everything that's going on in the world today, freight is expensive. So, uh, that's where those charges come from. But anyways, we're gonna get this joker put together. Maybe you're a dealer that's putting some together. You wanna kinda watch this. We'll show you a few tips and tricks because we've put a few together already. Got one of our guys here working on the windshield mountain bracket. 
we've got these new square tires. Check these out. No, I'm just kidding. I, they got them deflated <clears throat> and crammed into the crate. This does not come pre-assembled. You have to put all that together. Your colored pieces won't be on and you'll have to put in your uh, braces and mounts for the actual hand guards, which will be familiar to the C4600 and C4800. So as you see, Joel is just getting that lined up. It may be a little frustrating at first since we have all this already put together. Then you got these Allen heads there that's going to hold in the two ends. I definitely do, me and Joel recommend putting this all together separate from the handlebars and then do like we just showed you. It's a good bit easier than having to wrestle each individual part because you got like your hand guard bracket. You'd have to put each one of these on individually and then you have to fight all of this and and work around the handlebars to put all your screws in and all that stuff so anyways there's no instructions you gotta figure it out for yourself but i suggest just putting it all together and then mount it up to the handlebars i know a lot of you uh that are that are just watching this just for hey you're going to own one of these you kind of want to see the journey that they take to get here and how the shops put them together but uh, here at Main Street Cycle, we go through every little nook and cranny of this thing and make sure that it is good to go before it ever gets put on the showroom floor and before we load it up on anybody's trailer. So that way you won't have any problems and you can take it home and know that it is ready to rip and have a good time and you won't have any stress. So we've got plenty in stock. We're going to put some more stuff together. We got to put the front bumper on, the rear bumper, and we have to take the plastic off the front here to be able to put the front bumper on. And uh, also on the back, yes, we have to take that box off. We have to take the back plastic off, all to be able to mount up the rear bumper that comes with the Overland package. And there's a few other things that you have to do <clears throat> that makes this a lot longer process than the C Force 800. But that's all right. I'm excited about it. I'm ready to get to the finished product. Yeah. Just getting that all tight and torqued down and just showing you kind of how all that works. Now check out this skid plate. That's that heavy duty skid plate that comes on the Overland. That is nice. Now also on the Overland, you get this bash plate. Aluminum bash plate there pretty nice and then the thick skid plate very nice So on the bash plate here, for those of you that are installing this, um, you have a little bag with uh, four spacers and to, uh, four bolts, and uh, you have a longer spacer and a shorter spacer. So if you go to try to mount up this aluminum bash plate to these stock tabs, you're going to be highly disappointed and think that they're wrong, but that's not the case. That's what these spacers are for with the bolts. And uh, so bigger ones go on top. Bigger one goes on top, shorter one on the bottom. So I thought we'd give you that little bit of uh, information for those of you that are putting these together, and uh, it'll save you some headache. All right, so this cool back bumper that comes with the Overland kit uh, on the C Force 1000, you have to take the the back plastic off. Just hand tight at first because you'll have to line it up and you don't want to tighten one side down and have to fight the other. So keep everything just and hand then loosen, tight. loosen them for her. Makes it a lot easier getting the Oh yeah, in. yeah. Loosen Joel Joel discovered that loosening the actual metal rack as well will give you room to flex 
everything, or just move it around rather, to line up the holes right. Can't get this big camera in there. Let's see. Those right there. Those. So we have to wiggle that and get that to line up. Then once you get them all started, you can go ahead and tighten your bottom ones down first. And your top. Tighten down the rest. And now you can put your back plastic back on and put the boxes on and we're good to go. So for those of you that are wondering about how the boxes mount to the rear rack, it's a really neat setup how they did this. On the two side boxes, which are right here, they come in the boxes uh, sandwiched into the crate. And uh, they're really neat because there's actually no holes drilled in those boxes. So they definitely are sealed boxes for sure. But that's what she uses this mount system. So you'll see how that works here in a moment. But the rear, the center uh, box, box has holes in the bottom of it on both sides. And it uses the CF Moto Quick Connect system. And it uses the rear seat latch system as well. And latches right in place. So they utilize what they already had to make these boxes work pretty neat. So as you can see on the bottom, see it's a mount just like a seat. They made that work. And you just latch that in. And then down here, you have the CF Moto Quick Connect. Just get that down in place and snap it in. And that's what holds the center box in place. Here's your, here's the latch for the rear box. Boom, that's it. She is sealed. Got these nice strap down points as well. Very nice. So there is one side box. What side you got there? You actually have this that side. side. Okay. So on the bottom of it, you can see how this big bracket here is going to slide down in place through this. Also, it looks like it's going to be changeable in case it gets ripped off or anything or broke. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sweet. But that, that's pretty solid, man. Yeah. That is solid. You can't flex it. And that's big uh, Allen head bolts there. And then here is just a recessed area in the box. And that's just simply fitting over there just to kind of keep it from going side to side. So that's a neat design there. And then in the back, you have these nice heavy-duty uh, latches. They won't just open, you get them extra Right, you have to press that little button that's recessed in there in order to move the latch. And then that's it. I like that, that's really nice. They're heavy-duty. Like you said, you can't just open it, you have to press the button that's in there in order to do that. But you can take these on and off easily if you need to move them around or just didn't want to ride with them that day. But uh, those jokers are solid. Got a nice carrying handle. If you're going to carry it to the campsite or something like that, this thing is truly made for, with overlanding in mind, hence the name. <laughs> Got tons of storage. Very nice. And in that time, Joel already put this one on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have two of them done. Well, plus Joel's plus one that's already up on the showroom floor. So, super excited about that, man. Ready to go ride these things. We gotta do a heat cycle through them, make sure the fan and all works and it cools and we check all the electronics and the lights, the horn, the winch and all that good stuff. And we'll give it one more check over, but this is mine. That one's about to go on the showroom floor after they go through it. And they'll be ready to rip, man. So, 
from crate to the trails we're about to go but you'll catch the actual trail riding coming up in the next video so be watching for that hope y'all enjoyed this one y'all come out and get your seaforce 1000 at main street cycle and come see us hang out with us and uh would love to meet y'all man so we got to clean up the big mess that comes out of all these crates we've got a couple more over there to put together and then we got some more because we got a whole bunch of other machines as well over the last couple of days so plenty of inventory here at main street cycle but it will be going out the doors very soon i hope y'all enjoyed this one we got some camo ones coming i'll show you some footage of that and if you do come to main street cycle make sure that you tell them that you watch real talk power sports tell them that blake sent you and hopefully i'll meet you here as well god bless y'all we'll see you in the next one